I also heard you say that that it, if I'm correct, that as we as we approach this process, this process mm-hmm. is something that in a sense has already occurred, and that is that it's a it's a process at the universe level. Mm-hmm. In a way, it's a destiny process, and that those of us who have enrolled ourselves in the destiny of Gaia are part of that. Is that, am I catching on? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. the future's already happened from much higher perspective. You know, past, present, and future exist simultaneously. So this is where our egos tend to have issues. I, I struggled with this for a very long period of time myself. And um, to, for my ego to actually understand the concept of the future's already happened. And so I needed to actually let go and surrender my personality of George for this one lifetime, surrender to the greater me. And, and it's that part of me that made the decision to come here. It's that part of me that is the composer, uh, the orchestrator and the conductor of this life that I'm having. And that's the part of me that's totally in sync and one and harmony with creation and you know the universal creator and beyond so it's um once you can surrender to that then you actually flow and, and what's happening is our higher self is absorbing our ego see we're we're integrating our egos are important it's 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 of utmost important not to live in denial of the ego because that creates more internal division it's actually important to embrace our ego and to understand how it's serving us because our earthly personalities are, are the ego for, for this level, but are also, um, it, you know, it's, it resides in the mind construct. And so all, it's the interface, you know, for this reality. So it's important not to try and get rid of it. It's just important to embrace it, embrace that aspect of yourself with love, and then allow it to integrate with the greater you. And then what happens is your your ego and your mind now start flowing in synchronicity from, from the greater you. It emanates out. So it goes from the from this heart center here and then emanates to the to the mind and then your mind is operating from that rather than your mind being influenced externally by the mind matrix, you see. And uh, and we start flowing in our own river of life and then your river of life is in sync with the natural unfoldment, the organic unfoldment of life, and you end up living and moving through this matrix and expressing and living your life in such a, a flowing and in, in, in synchronistic way. It's incredible. So, so you know, we're, we're, we're talking, we're walking between dimensions here. We're walking right. not only between worlds, but we're, we're looking at this from a multidimensional format because we are multidimensional beings. So, you you don't just exist here on this earthly plane. You have Alfred right. here. Then you've got aspects of you that may be in the third dimension scattered throughout the cosmos, aspects of you in the fourth dimension, and you have aspects of you in the fifth and beyond. So right. you're still up in these higher levels because what happens is these higher levels of ourselves, um, excuse me, project aspects of ourselves down into the lower domains, but we're still up there. So when I talk about our lower ego being absorbed by the higher self, that is what's happening. The veil is thinning. The higher aspect of ourselves is now absorbing the lower ego. And, and I'm talking the higher self being five, fifth dimension and above is now being absorbed. We're integrating with a much greater aspect of self. And as the veil gets thinner and thinner and thinner, soon an opening will occur in this reality and we will walk as the two complete merged physically. Right. So it seems like the process of surrender is a fundamental process that we should be engaging in, that one as a being should be engaging in at this time and over the next over the next few years. I mean, surrender to this process of ascension, of moving through the dimensions with Gaia. Is that is that a correct formulation of it? That, that is a very good assessment of it, you know, and this is surrender um, to yourself because, again, this is not giving your power away to anyone or anything outside of you. This is about, for the, for the lower aspect of self, to surrender control of this life to the greater aspect of yourself because it's that great aspect of yourself which is in one, in sync, harmony with not only Gaia, 
not only cross fear, which is the high aspect of life, fire, also to the um, the rest of uh, life and creation. Because I'm coming from my heart, and I'm not trying to create disinformation or mislead people. I right. always say, please don't take my word for gospel, and because I'm here to empower people from within. This is what this is all about. So, what if somebody feels like when the process starts to happen, very because it's it's going to go up another level really, really soon. Um, that they want to get on the spaceships and go off world, then that's their soul journey. See, I'm, I'm not here to um, convince people of anything, no. um, and I'm not here to control anyone or try and mislead anyone. So this is about, I want people to follow their sovereignty, their own intuitive path, because what where, where my soul is at at this point in time is different to where other people's journeys are at in this universe. So I know where I'm going. I'm going to stay with Mother Earth. I'm going to ascend with Mother Earth. I'm going to walk through those openings right. and uh, go to the fifth dimension. And that's not just ascension. That's just going back to the fifth dimension. And it, it, that is the platform. The fifth dimension is the platform we ascend from, you know, because right. once we get back there, then that's where we prepare for all of our dimensions to implode simultaneously all at the same time. And then what gets birthed out of that is universal consciousness, you see. So... That's, that's the process I'm going through. But wherever anybody wants to go, that's entirely up to them. Because I've been to the fifth dimension many times yeah. in this lifetime. Yeah. There's no electricity. Like I said, yeah. there's no technology. There's no such yeah. thing as steel or electricity or plastics. or These are all elements and substances of the lower domains of the universe. So these sort of things and, and radiation all that do not exist in the higher dimensions. Right. Um, they, they just don't exist. They're not a part of it, of that reality. And so all these things are all part of the lower ego of Mother Earth. And as we transmute our lower ego, she's transmuting her low, lower ego. And this is another um, um, kind of aspect to it that I wish to share because a lot of people feel that we're going to um, go through this process. It's going to be a long, drawn-out process that right. we're going to start introducing new technologies. We're going to go back to nature. We'll all be loving again and everything will be beautiful. And I'm trying to explain to people that, that's nice. I would really like it to happen that way as well, but I don't feel that that's the reality of it um, because, first of all, I feel it's going to happen uh, very intensely over a short period of time simply because I understand the forces of darkness and the forces of limitation. So a lot of people are spending a lot of time on the positive end of the scale because, you know, they're two sides, they're alter egos of one another, you know, and the, and the process of, you know, the... The, um, I suppose the consciousness and the light that I'm speaking of is you take those two and you integrate them and you rise out of that paradigm and that's the, the consciousness and the light that, you know, the 5D version that I'm talking about. So when, when we go from the negative side of the charge over the positive side of the charge, we're still down in the lower domains, but it's just a different expression. So um, th that expression is not above the negative. They like to see themselves as though they are, but they're really across from it if you know what I mean, because it's two sides of the scales of duality of life. Now, I've, I've, I've explored both paradigms extensively, so that's why I'm talking from experience here. So what I'm saying is people are now, because we've been in such a negative charge, they're going to this positive white love and light charge of life within themselves, but they're now, once again, forgetting the negative um, charge and okay. they're forgetting the behavioral patterns and the, the way they go about doing things and you've got to realize that they're hanging on for everything that they're worth and it's kind of like the pressure's building and this is what we wanted from a high level it's called, I call it the big squeeze you know right. um, this, this consciousness is rising up from inside of us transforming everything they're holding on from everything it's worth we've got the positive side of the scale coming in a very very intense way to swing the pendulum, you know, to balance out the negative charge we've been in for such a long time. And there's this big squeeze happening on us right now. And it's like a cam effect, you know. The more you get to the top of that cam ridge, you know, that, that, that tipping point, the more the resistance is. And it'll go, 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 and then poof, it's just going to give. And, uh, and then it's just like the floodgates open and everything changes very quickly. So for me, that's how... If I feel into this reality, if I feel into Mother Earth right. and I feel into the process and I feel into the forces of darkness and limitation, I feel into the forces of positive white love and, and, and light, um, and, and that paradigm has is, is got its limits too. I feel into both of those. Now, I feel into myself, which is above and beyond that dualistic process and that arena, 
Um, these are the understandings and the conclusions that I come to within myself. So that's what I urge people to do is to look at it from all these perspectives and also not to forget the, the way the dark forces of darkness limitation behave because if you do, then you'll get caught up in a romantic ideology of how you would like it to be and how you and, and even extraterrestrial races that we're in contact with and I'm in contact with would like it to be but again, they're not aware of the much grander perspective because even their paradigm is limited.